Hello, I'm Shazad Haq and welcome to the SCA Cricket Show. Well, as usual, we come to you from the Kalan Cricket Ground. These are the recently completed nets. Well, we have a very special edition for you this time round. It's all about the Singapore Cricket Club PayPal 2020. Eight teams from around the world and Singapore got together to play in a T20 extravaganza at the Padang from the 19th to the 21st of August. The day before, on the 18th, there was a media launch which saw the tournament organisers and the captains get together. The second edition of the tournament got underway with a press junket at the Singapore Cricket Club on Thursday, 18th August. The eight clubs participating in the 2011 version were the home club, of course, reigning tournament champion Singhalese Sports Club from Sri Lanka, Malaysia's Royal Selangor Club, Melbourne Cricket Club from Australia, India's Madras Cricket Club, Kowloon Cricket Club from Hong Kong, and a side represented by the Singapore Cricket Association. Captains of the eight sides made their first appearance in the uniforms they would play in for the next three days and took part in a Q&A session with the media, sharing their expectations of the tournament. For the tournament organisers, the second edition was already a much improved version of the first. What we've tried to do this year is uh, ask the participating clubs from the original tournament to bring as many of their ex-first class and or current first class players as they can and uh, very happy to say that uh, that that has been achieved and uh, the second thing that we've done is uh, the, the committee postured for a little while we we're a bit uncertain but we went for media and I'm very pleased to say that uh, with fantastic sponsorship support uh, support from the Sports Council uh, we've been able to secure uh, telecast with World Sport Group and what that enables us to do is to take the tournament to a broader market. We can, we're live on TV uh, here in Singapore and uh, we're going live through ESPN Star to uh, the, the subcontinent and we're also going to be distributed to uh, the USA uh, and uh, probably to South Africa. So it's uh, one of those things that if you don't take a risk you don't get the reward and we feel we've taken the right risk and we're really looking forward to the right reward for the tournament. So it's pretty exciting. The SCC T20, as I can see it, is, uh, is a tournament that, that is completely in line with what UFL is doing, uniting future legends, which is, uh, you know, uh, helping these future cricketers, um, you know, uh, play and, and, you know, become professionals of the future. So we are supporting this program only because there are young and, and dashing young uh, cricketers that are coming into the scene. Also on August the 18th, the Melbourne Cricket Club, in conjunction with the Singapore Cricket Association, conducted a special coaching clinic right here at the Cullen Cricket Ground. The Melbourne Cricket Club and the Singapore Cricket Association held a joint training session where cricketers aged between 14 and 18 spent an hour developing their skills and techniques with players and coaches from the visiting side. 40 participants engaged in various training exercises in batting, bowling and fielding. The MCC has a proud cricket history and has been developing the sport in Australia since 1838. The kids in Singapore were extremely pleased to have gotten a taste of Australian cricket in their own backyard. Oh, it's been great. The guys from Melbourne have just come down, gave us a few fielding tips and we've been in the nets with them. They've gave us a few tips there and it's been fun. We've got to talk to the guys and we've learned a lot from them. Uh, I've learned bowling tips, just uh, running through, keep your momentum going forward, uh, just for things like how to bowl, uh, Yorkers, uh, different kinds of short balls, yeah. Well, I'm here at the Cullen Cricket Ground now with the MCC training our local kids, and we have a special guest with us. Uh, this is Chris Yannick, who is a Singapore international, but playing for MCC in the tournament. Uh, first of all, Chris, that must be quite weird for you, coming back to Singapore to play against a lot of your mates. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, it's, it, these are the guys I used to play with, and now I'm playing against them, so it's, 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 a, bit, it's a bit different. Well, well, tell us now. I mean, you, you've obviously known Kalang, you've grown up on Kalang grounds, and now you're coming back to, to coach some of the kids. What's yeah. that experience been like for you? No, it's been good. I mean, the kids have been good. There's, uh, there's obviously a lot of talent here. It's just with the proper nurturing, proper coaching, there, there could be anything really. So, well, you, you've obviously spent uh, a fair bit of time now in Australia, and has that been beneficial to your cricket? Oh, for sure. I mean, the infrastructure in place over there, the coaching, and the, the, the just the talent and players you play with all the time. It's just on another level compared to Singapore, so it's, yeah, you definitely improve as a cricketer. Coming up here on the SCA Cricket Show, 
all the action from the group stages of the Singapore Cricket Club PayPal T20 tournament.